Well, traffic is peaking on the N4 toll road uh, linking Pumalanga and uh, Gauteng. This says uh, many holidaymakers are returning uh, home after the festive season holidays. Our reporter Dumela Machoko and uh, uh, cameraman Azui Mukhava are at the Makado toll plaza in Makado Stop in uh, Pumalanga. Up here on the N4, especially here at Machado Toll Plaza, as more and more people are heading towards it back to home, and you understand that the schools are reopening on Wednesday, and most of these people are also returning to work tomorrow on Monday. So the traffic is starting to pick up. We have seen a lot of people also traveling on the road, especially here on the N4, going towards Gauteng and also going towards Middleback, Whitbank, also to those areas. But we understand more traffic is also expected along the roads, such as the N17, the N11, and also the N2 that is connecting uh, 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 Mpumalanga and also uh, KwaZulu-Natal. But let's speak to uh, Ernest uh, Grove here at the, the, to uh, the Toll Plaza. He speaks for, for track. Uh, Ernest, just talk to us about in the morning. Uh, what traffic do, did you guys see in the morning when the, the, during the start of the morning? So in the morning we had around about four to 500 uh, cars on the westbound going to Joburg site. And then around about 11 to 12 we had about 700, 800, so it picked up quite well. And then uh, two to three, we had about over a thousand and we're expecting a little bit more as the traffic picks up for the vacation goers going up to Joburg side. And also talk to us about the, the, the road construction that we have seen on the road there. Is it also delaying people because we know that the road construction have been stopped so fast for the festive season so that people can travel. But are we seeing a lot of congestion, especially there on the, uh, towards the Skumans Kloof Road on the N4? Um, to be honest, at this stage, not really, because they close quite late. They're opening only on the 15th somewhere there, so there won't be any, any stoppages for now for, for the people passing there, so it's quite good. Oh, fantastic. That was Ennis Grove. Let's quickly speak to Mweti. He speaks for the Department of the uh, um, Community Safety and Community License. Mweti, just talk to us about uh, the, the, the road and also the people on the road. Have you seen a lot of crashes and also are your men uh, also on the ground to ensure that there is a smooth uh, running of traffic? Yes, uh, our traffic officers are fairly hard at work to ensure that uh, uh, the motorists who are on the road, they obey the rules and comply with the regulations. Hence, uh, we, have, we, we, we have seen them uh, all over the place with uh, block patrols, working closely with various stakeholders. We are not expecting the situation to be any different today. But here where we are, uh, the traffic is mostly westbound. That is coming from the east towards the west, as many people may they have visited Mpumalanga, either coming from Mozambique or, or, or from various parts of the province due to Mpumalanga being very beautiful and scenic as well. But then uh, traffic is starting to pick up by virtue of the fact most people are returning to work tomorrow on Monday and the schools in the inland provinces are reopening on Wednesday. So it, naturally we are expecting traffic volumes to pick up. Hence we are appealing to those who will be on the road to continue as well behaved as they were throughout the festive season. That is why uh, the number seems would be low. We'd expect them to be lower when the Ministry of Transport releases these statistics on the festive season road crashes. But we are generally happy with the prefer preparations we put into place. Hence, so far we have been able to stop over 135,000 vehicles with some of them, uh, those vehicles being impounded. Those that went through our various way bridges across the province are around 22,000. And our traffic office officers who were hard at work have also issued more than 25,000 summonses for various offenses relating to how those motorists were behaving and how and, how, and the roadworthiness of their vehicles. 19 people were also arrested. 12 of those, the number of those who were caught use, using their vehicles while they were under the influence is still standing at about 12. That uh, also just to speak to us also about the, the crashes that we have seen on the road. We have seen the, the were crashes on the road. You talked about them. They say there were a number of crashes, but we also seen a crash this morning uh, on the in N11 between Hindrina and Middleburg. Just talk to us about the fatalities there. And also, if you can just talk to us about the fatalities that we have seen, we know that the number is above 100 so far. Just talk to us that, about that. Well, uh, we have not had uh, many major crashes this particular festive season so far, but we have recorded one major crash on Sunday morning morning between um, Hendrina and Middleburg on the N11 where three people lost their lives. They were men. They died at the scene. They were the occupants in the polo hatchback that uh, 
was involved in a side swipe collision with an articulated truck. The driver of that particular articulated truck sustained slight injuries and he was rushed to a nearby hospital for further medical attention after being stabilized on the scene. That crash as we speak now is under the investigation like many other crashes that we investigate which are major after having occurred. Mwiti, thank you so much for speaking to us. Mwiti Musi speaking for the Department of uh, Community Safety here in the province. As you can see the traffic is also starting to build up here. People are returning back home. Also they are trying to return to their work, return to home and also return to their uh, after their holiday destination as many schools are reopening on Tuesday and also some of these people that are on the road are some of the children that have also been traveling from that are coming from holiday destinations such as Mozambique, such as Kruger. We've been speaking to people, a lot of people especially uh, uh, motorists saying that they are coming from their holiday destinations such as Kruger, such as Mozambique and also such as like other uh, parts of the province that have been they visited but the traffic is expected to peak more and more as we have seen over thousand cars have already passed here in the last hour.